What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's very intriguing video, the road, the road, excuse me, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we are now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the year. Only time will tell, but as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it on the hopes to, to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners at a collector store on the hopes to potentially pull another collector's rare because it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled one because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did a few months back is a collector's rare beat cop from the underworld. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Centering on the back is a bit off from top, top to bottom. Other than, other than that, there's like nothing wrong, wrong with this card. So I am going to be getting it graded at some point. Just really don't, I just don't know when exactly though. But with that being said, guys, if you guys want, want to see these, if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue, deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video and as always make sure you guys are following following me on all of my social media now including threads i have now officially started started to use uh threads as of today i'll be using threads to give to give you guys a preview of what my next video of what of what my future videos will be so make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media including threads all of my ads will be in all of my ads will, will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in, as I'm trying to move my camera, thank you, including the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which ties into today's video, which is this. What do you think the Judgment Day would gain? If Austin Theory were to join the group, let me know down in the comments below because in today's video, I'm going to be talking about about the big question that has been talked about for the last for the last week or so, and the question is this: is should is is Austin Theory going to join the Judgment Day? I mean that I, I mean to be fair, it's a high possibility given given what's trend given how. For how, given how low his career has gone since losing the United States champ, you know, uh, uh, championship to Rey, to Rey Mysterio several weeks, a number of weeks back. So it's kind of possible. It's it's kind of possible. But let's but let's think about everything that Austin Theory has done since he got to WWE back in what 2019, 2020. Right, right around there. Think of what he's done. Actually, no. Let me rephrase that. Let me go. Let's go back to to literally the end of close to the end of 2019. He became. He's a former Evolve World Champion. He's a former WWN Champion. 
the only person to hold both titles in the same run. And I remembered that because it was a part of, because it was on the Evolve 10th anniversary show that aired on the WWE Network. And I know that because I did a review video of of that show the moment the show went off the air. So if you guys have not checked out that video, check it out, guys. It was it was it was pretty interesting to say the very least. First time, first time I've ever called a promotion outside of outside of WWE. First time ever. So if you guys have haven't already, be sure to check it out. He had his very first WrestleMania match during the pandemic. Yeah. He's challenged for the NXT Tag Team titles. He's challenged for the NXT title. And he's even challenged for multiple championships in WWE. He's won Money in the Bank. He had a match... Excuse me. Against guys the likes of Brock Lesnar and even Seth freaking Rawls. Not only that, but he, but he as literally it even says so right here. Uh, shout outs to Sports Kita and big shout out. No copyrights as always, but he always talks about his victory over John Cena at this past year's WrestleMania here in my hometown of LA. He all and he's been bragging about it ever since. Ever since, and obviously you guys know pres presently he's a part of the of the SmackDown roster, and obviously you you guys know not this past Friday but last Friday on on SmackDown, both both Austin Theory and Grayson Waller challenged the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and main event Jey Uso for the undisputed tag team titles. Right, right. Literally, this was days before Rhodes and Uso were set to defend the tag titles last week on Raw on the season premiere against said Judgment Day, and both both Austin and Waller they lost, they lost, and for some, and obviously you you guys know thanks to Jay's own twin Jimmy Uso, both Rhodes and Jay. Are no longer the tag team champions, and and during a sit down interview on uh, on the bump, Austin Theory claimed that the Judgment Day ought to be grateful. This is what he actually said. He said, and I quote: "Main event: Jay Uso and Cody Rhodes. Are they are they the tag team champions right now? Uh uh, I didn't think so. Okay, I didn't think so." Yeah, thanks to me because I beat them down. Me and Grayson Waller, we wore them down. So when they showed up on Monday Night Raw, Judgment Day, you know what they did? Swooped in and in, and, and in brackets from 25-22 onwards. And, Finn ba and WWE tagged Finn Balor in a post in a, in a reel... On Instagram, showing, showing the showing the Judgment Day celebrating the victory of Priest and Finn regaining the titles with the video itself, not the post, but the video itself, captioning and new with three exclamation points. And there was another thing that that Austin Theory also said. That actually kind of shocked that shocked the world. He said, quote. He said, quote, they they do in brackets, oh theory, a thank you. I'm not asking for a membership in the judgment day. I mean it would be kind of cool, right? Here's the thing. Here here's the thing. Here's the thing. The the crazy thing about this is that all of this momentum. That Austin Theory gained started a couple started literally a few weeks ago on SmackDown when when Austin Theory was in a segment on SmackDown with Pat McAfee and The Rock. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. The Rock returned to SmackDown for the first time 
since 2019. Since the season premiere of SmackDown on Fox in 2019. That was almost thought that that was literally, oh, literally close to five years. Close to five, almost five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I, and I, and ironically enough, wrestling veteran Dutch Mantel, or you guys might remember him as, uh, oh, what would be a good, uh, Zeb, uh, Zeb, Zeb Coulter, Zeb Coulter, if you guys remember that from the group known as the, the Real Americans with him and Jack Swagger and Cesaro, then you know. He felt Austin Theory got some strong momentum following his segment with The Rock and Pat McAfee last month on SmackDown. And, men, and Dutch e even claimed that it made him... It made him an even bigger star than, than he ever was. Even Jim... Even Jim... Jim Cornette, of all people, praised Austin Theory during... Um, uh, following the that massive promo that that he did with um with uh with both Pat McAfee and 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 The Rock, so it's possible. So obviously, it's possible that um that we could see Austin Theory in in the Judgment Day, but we got to look at some of the pros and cons. But excuse me. But before we get to that, this is what Jim Cornette said about Austin Theory's promo last month on SmackDown. Think about what he said. He said, quote, he said, quote, this is the best promo I've ever heard of Austin Theory sounding like Austin Theory should sound like. Remember, remember, with Cena, it was like he was intimidated. He let Cena bow, bowl over him. It was five months ago. Point is, he looked like he was more comfortable here. He was more natural. He didn't sound like he was he was reciting anything or he was intimidated. He mocked and and derided McAfee. So that so and not only that that think about this that video that promo. I, I want to see about that promo. Let me take a look really quickly on YouTube here on my laptop. Give me one sec. Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. <sighs> here we are. Pat McAfee, The Rock. That segment. That segment was over a month ago. That's that segment on YouTube got well over six point five million views, where as opposed to all 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 social media platforms it got well over 150 combined that proves if that doesn't prove that a guy like pat mcafee and a guy like the rock is getting is trying to get austin theory over with the fans i don't know what is but what but what but what intrigues me the most is that austin theory is the is the idea of Austin Theory joining joining the Judgment Day, is is that possible? Absolutely, it is one hundred percent possible. If Austin Theory were to get traded or drafted back over over to Raw, then yes, then yes, obviously Austin Theory could potentially join Judgment Day, but only time will tell. But but the question is, would what the question becomes whether or not the Judgment Day would benefit well with Austin Theory being in the group and honestly I think I think it would benefit benefit Judgment Day really well because think of the possibilities right think about this if if Finn Balor can't become world heavyweight champion and if Damian Priest can't become world heavyweight champion via via the money the make briefcase 
then maybe Austin Theory can. I mean, after all, let's let's not forget. Let's not forget Seth Rollins turned Austin Theory into one of his into one of Seth's disciples several years ago when he was known as the Money Night Messiah. Think about that. Think about that. So so in reality, no one knows Seth freaking Rollins better than than a guy like a guy like Austin Theory. So it's possible, but let's also not not forget as well JD McDonough. JD McDonough has been wanting to join the Judgment Day at the behest of Finn Balor. Because everyone knows that both Balor and McDonough, they've been friends for 20 for for like 20 plus years. And Balor was the one that taught JD McDonough everything that JD knew about the business. But as but as, as we all know, Balor didn't teach him everything that Finn knew about the business. So So it's possible that so it's possible that we could potentially see see the judgment day grow even stronger than ever before, but for all we know, let's let's not forget let's not forget as we just as as I just said, you know, as I just talked about both Theory and Waller, they've been they've been a team for quite for a short time. And if they were to both get, get drafted to Raw and they join Judgment Day, think of how more dangerous they could be with those two in in the group. Is it possible that we that, that those two could join Judgment Day? Absolutely. Is it bound to happen? Who knows? Who knows? The biggest pro of both of both Theory and Waller, mainly Austin Theory joining Judgment Day. Is I think is I think the possibility of is I think it's possible that we could see Austin Theory challenge for for some championship gold in NXT like perhaps like, like perhaps maybe the Heritage Cup or maybe even also the NXT title but I think the biggest con I think would have to be not not the fan reaction. How the fans would react to him being in the Judgment Day, but more so of the fact that the Judgment Day, with the moment, with the momentum they have now, it's possible that one loss, one loss from Austin Theory, excuse me, could derail the Judgment Day's mo momentum and. We could see Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso regain the undisputed tag team titles in the near future. So it's possible, but only, but only time will tell. But my thoughts, my opinion: Should Austin Theory join join the join the Judgment Day? Absolutely. I think with with what with what the Judgment Day has been doing now, there's. Why? Why wouldn't Austin Theory not want to join 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 the Judgment Day? I mean, I mean an, another thing too. You know, you know him and Dirty Dom, they could challenge for they 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 could challenge the family, Stax and Stax and Tony Tony D'Angelo for the NXT Tag Team Titles and in in the future, and they would truly run all of WWE. It's possible, but only time. Will tell, but that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media, including Threads, because I have now officially started to use Threads as of today. All of my all of my ads will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.